Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. So today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Glossy Effect. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Now it's time to create a new solid for our background. Let's call it Background. And you can choose any color you want. But I am going with the black color and hit OK. Now we have to import our logo. I am using logo without background, but you can also go with background. Now press S to open scale, if your logo is bigger. And then adjust the size of your logo, according to your need. And again press S to close the scale. Now right click on your logo, and pre-compose it, let's name it as logo. Make sure that you have selected, leave all attribute option. Make sure to unselect your layers, and then go to the tools, and select pen behind tool. You can also go with the mask tool, make sure to set the color to white, and hit OK. Now you have to do something like this. Make sure your shape is big enough to cover your entire screen. Perfect. Now select the shape layer, and press T to open opacity. And change its value to 50%. Now we are going to change our shape layer. If you don't see your mode tab gear, press F4 to switch between. And then change normal to soft light. Then select your shape layer, and press P to open position. Then select the logo layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make the duplicate of it. And place this logo layer to the top. Now go to the track mat tab. If you don't see this tab, simply right click on this, and select modes. And then change mat to alpha mat. Now we are going to animate it. Make sure that you are in the first frame. And hold V on new keyboard, and move this shape layer that it covers your whole logo. And then click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, and after that go to the end frame. And then change the position of your shine layer something like this. Select both keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Now open Graph Editor, and change the curve something like this, to smooth out our animation. If you don't see your curve like this, right click, and select Edit Speed Graph. Switch back to the timeline, RAM preview this, our glossy effect on logo has been complete. In this way, you can also put glossy effect in text. I have given you a link to this project file in the description. So you can download this project file in the description box. So friends, I will meet you again a few days later, thanks for watching this tutorial, have a nice day.